All right, here we go again. Hope everyone is doing well, staying positive with all that's going on in today's world. Here's another video. We started this project before the 19 break. Let's call it. This project takes place in Frisco. Quick note here, this was the area that was hit pretty bad in 89 earthquake. Hence the reason we are stalling this grade beam. Pretty much any major upgrades here in Frisco will require one to make sure it's earthquake proof. Typical gray beams are about 18 inches by 18 inches. This one here is 30 inches by 30 inches, approximately 20 feet long. The GC did all the shoring of the house. It's crazy how all the gas lines and water lines are just hanging in the air. Here we are using the DeWalt 9 inch cutoff saw. Normally we will use our 14 inch saw. Since most of this was only about 2 or 3 inches with no rebar, we used this instead. We only had to change the battery once. So once we made the cuts, I told the guys to make the cuts two by two. But nope, everybody on the construction site, it's always a competition on who is the strongest. I told y'all to cut it in half. So again, the gray beam was approximately 30 inches by 30 inches. We had a stem wall on each end, but we had to use a combination of the Boss 60 pound jackhammer, as well as the Makita cordless demo hammer. We also had to remove a couple yards of dirt. Good thing this was sand and was able to make quick work of it. time for some rebar. We're using a fast cut 6000 it's called. I think fast cut 600. It's a combination of a rebar cutter and bender. Weighs about 200 pounds. This thing here is a real time saver for us. We ended up making about 20 stirrups or sometimes they're called squares. All rebar together. All rebar. I'm sorry all rebar is number five 12 inches on center here we're using a rebar tying gun to kind of put them all together finally Thank you. 
So as you can see here, we ran into the sewer pipe or in the gas line. So ideally when we put the cage together, it was gonna run it from one end to the other end. But we had to make some custom cuts and I think it ended up being about 75 inches we had to make here. So in order to build a cage, we're gonna put three number fives on top and three number fives on bottom. This will make our cage. Now ideally we was gonna make it one long cage, but since we had the sewer pipe, here we had to make one cage here, leave about two feet out, and then you're gonna see us overlap it and build the other cage here. Okay, so we're still building the cage. You can see how tight it is as we're building it. Gotta use a hammer, gotta use a foot, whatever it takes to get it 12 inches on center. So it's pretty hard to maneuver down here in the, in the trench. So this part can be real time consuming. Okay, so here's the two foot overlay I was talking about from the original cage. You can see us putting our stirrups here on this end. We're gonna continue with some number fives on top and bottom, 12 inches on center to complete the cage. Now, ideally we would make one long cage, but since the sewer pipe, and I believe it's a gas line or old gas line was here, we had to make two separate cages. But most inspectors wanna see a 24 inch overlay and that's what we have here. Okay, so we got the gray beam all pretty much tied together. And again, this is 30 by 30, but the typical is 18 inches by 18 inches. Okay, so we're pretty much ready for inspection and concrete. Got a few little details to take care of, but we're gonna take care of that the day of the pour. So hopefully we can get an inspection soon. Everyone's just getting back to work over here, so I know they're probably way behind over here in Frisco. If you enjoyed this video, appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel. You can also hit the like button. You can also leave a comment. And if you're in the San Francisco Bay Area or the Sacramento area, there's a link below where you can set up a free estimate and we can come out and check out your project. Enjoy your day. Remember to stay positive and see you on the next one.